I, I hit go live. I should be live now. And I put in the stream key. Hopefully I'm not live on my own channel. <laughs> oh my god. No, I see live. me. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Am I here? Yes, Am I here. live? Yes, you're, you're here. Oh my god. Wow, look at me on a partner channel. Look how far I've come. <laughs> You can see the empty space below my camera. That's where someone else's webcam was supposed to go. Oh my God. Do you want my webcam in the meantime? While we wait Do you want to interview me? Oh, goodness. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't prepped here. I'll send you the link in the meantime. Oh, okay. Great. Y'all are going to get to see me set up someone else's webcam in my scene live on stream. But first, <laughs> wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post that I'm live also, like in my own Discord server. Hey, yeah, go ahead. And also in like a few other servers I'm in. I'm I'm promoing this. I'm really I'm really hey, taking hey. this seriously. Yeah, chat. I'm sorry you have to deal with me for a while longer because uh, there was confusion as to. Who I mean, was hey, if no, if here, no here one's available up. to interview hey. me, I can just I'm entertain chat all on my own. Can, I can, can do we, it. Can, can we could just do this by ourselves and answer questions. <laughs> just true. ask my own questions. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so I don't get chat in my Streamlabs OBS. I have to have the twitch site open so okay that's good to know that's what i thought was gonna happen hi everyone <laughs> well you don't need my face anymore because thomas is here do you want my do you want my stream yeah do the obs ninja camera same oh one. my god uh if you still have the tab open it should be the same one um what if i don't i need to turn your then you should make a new one it's okay that's easy right. easy peasy how do i do that you you just go back to obs ninja and set it up. Oh wait, I haven't updated. I haven't updated yet. Hold on, I will update for oh, you. Oh, update the um. Oh, I can update. Someone it. redeemed AMA already for me. Oh my god. Yes or no? Yes or no? What? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? Oh, just yes or no? <laughs> yes or no? Is that what I'm answering? Yes or no? Oh, it, it's no, the question's just yes or no. Question. Yes. <laughs> The, the answer is always yes. Yeah, if you change, I mean, you could change it to the just chatting category if someone is actually going to be interviewing me, or no, you can just put it, it for the Minesweeper category. Yeah, I put it, it in Minesweeper, yeah. Which Minesweeper category? Capital M, capital S, or Microsoft Minesweeper? Capital M, capital S. Good, that's the right one. There's okay. more? <laughs> yes. There's, there was this whole debacle in the Minesweeper community because... Originally, there was only one Minesweeper category, and it was Minesweeper with, like, the picture of Minesweeper. And then they split it into multiple categories, and the actual Minesweeper category became Microsoft Minesweeper. And then there was another split-off category called Minesweeper with a capital M, capital S. And now everyone is streaming in that one, even though it actually has less followers on it. It's, it's a whole debacle. If anyone from Twitch is listening, please just make it one category again. <laughs> it's too confusing. Insane. If our uh, Twitch staff is here, that uh, <laughs> that's an alumni, please. Oh, yeah, Nathan is here. Nathan, please. yeah, Nathan. Nathan, we need you actually. If anyone from Twitch staff is here, please just make it <laughs> one category again. <laughs> All right, well, it's I'll let you guys right now. set up and get set now that Thomas oh, is yes. here. Okay. Have fun. I'll be watching. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, okay. There's your link. I can do this. Oh yeah, I'll put it in there. I can do it. Browser source, add source, add source. Wait, nope, that's not. I accidentally added two of one source. That's not what I wanted to do. Nice, nice. I promise I'm a streamer. Browser source, add source, add new source. There's a way to use Slabs. It's so much easier. I, I use Streamlabs OBS. Oh, do you? Yes. Does this work with Streamlabs OBS? Yeah. I'm doing oh. this all over Streamlabs OBS. I actually didn't even know that. Thomas's webcam, add source, copy link, paste link. Are you ready? Your face is going to be revealed to the stream. Oh god, oh god. I need a shave Done. still. I should oh, shave. I don't see anything. That's bad. <laughs> it's not showing up. Oh, it's because, wait, no, you're, oh, there you are. <gasps> Hi. Yeah. Hello. What is okay. up? Let's make, oh, nope. That's Arbiter. That's my Minesweeper program. Let me move this here, move you here. Oh my God, look at that, perfect. You're just probably like under you. 
Yeah, I did. I purposely That's left that perfect. space there for whoever was going to interview perfect. me. Smart. And then yeah. I saw the debacle in the chat when you yeah. thought totally no one knew who was going to interview yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, look, this is not the most organized stream, I think, as most people could tell. But... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, CJ's here. Hi, CJ. Uh, this is... Okay, so for people who are my viewers <laughs> coming to this channel for the first time ever, um, I graduated from Ithaca College in 2020, and they have an esports club. And the esports club is running an all-weekend charity event. So you can see the donation goal um, that way. I'm pointing to it. It's up there somewhere, and above my head is the name of the charity event, Charity Power Up. So this is a charity stream, and I am one of the, I, I have the honor of being one of the <laughs> scheduled events <laughs> mm -hmm. for the stream. They just needed my sweepers so badly. Um, totally, on the yeah, we, we need it. Yeah, and I am all all too happy to oblige. So my f lovely friend Thomas is going to be interviewing me while I play my sweeper. So do you not okay. have any questions prepared? No, I actually <laughs> oh, have Oh my god, hi Cobalt Knight. <laughs> I have questions. Oh, you do? Okay, do. let's hear them. I'm ready. So there's somebody who probably also a lot of your I don't, I don't know if there's any people from ours watching what is minesweeper i've never i've always seen this game don't know how to play <laughs> still don't so, know how to play minesweeper is it's a pretty old like the logic puzzle behind it is a very old logic puzzle it's you know like mm -hmm. decades old but minesweeper rose to popularity when it was one of the automatically downloaded windows games like on microsoft i don't know if you remember like on windows 7 yeah it was it was uh, i remember playing it like a couple of times but i would just immediately click on bombs and be like i i just lost i guess yeah so it was one of those automatically downloaded games and obviously like you see people play all the time and you never know how the heck it works i mm -hmm. i just remembered i have to not use my potty mouth on this stream <laughs> normally normally i curse like a sailor on my own stream i have to remember not to do that here um i swear to god nobody so yeah it. the game works pretty easily oh my god hi evan welcome to chat i'm i'm seeing some people from like my own little minesweeper universe this is really <laughs> cool it's like the most ambitious crossover event avengers who <laughs> oh, god, oh mago's hosting going. the stream oh that's you <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> I also saw that one of the donation things was $50 or $100 donation. Person streaming does their best interpretation of serenading the donator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that? Then we have 420, a person has to yell Snoop. 69 is random dancing. Because um, if someone donates 50 or or $100, I am maybe the best person to donate that, that amount for. That's because that's I've got my true. ukulele, I've got my keyboard, I've got my guitar. So if anyone is when I donated two hundred yesterday, they did they sang um, what is it? What they sang? They sang a, a, a what is a song? The Willerman, which is really funny. Oh, the the sea shanty. Do you yeah, get to choose the song, or does the uh, speaker choose? They, I, they get to choose, I guess. There's really okay. I, I, there's only a couple of sea shanties, so I don't know. Only no, there's a lot of sea shanties. Just maybe a few well known ones, the, like the ones that went viral on yeah. TikTok. Yeah, true. So yeah, this is Minesweeper I'm playing now. It's I can teach people how to play. If you want a quick explanation, I can definitely There's so many numbers going. Give that. Yes, there's a lot of numbers. That's how it works. Okay. Let's Oh my god, hi ascended donut. So many people in chat. Yeah, so for people who are new, I already I just explained this, but if I see esports is my alma mater. And after I graduated, they had a super established esports club and got the super cool gamer jerseys. True. Gamer I'm not salty now. that it happened after I graduated. I'm not great. salty. And you have an esports room. I'm not yeah. salty. <laughs> Wait, Chloe, have we told you what the what the internet in the esports room is? No. <laughs> it's like a terabyte download. They they gave us such good internet in the esports room. It's insane. It's very I'm good. so I'm so mad at you. It's so good internet. It's, it's Never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop streaming right now. I'm gonna end the stream. Stop. If chat calls me a boomer one more time. <laughs> you already graduated college. You're a boomer. Uh, come visit Chloe. I miss you. Em, I miss you too. I if it wasn't for the pandemic, I would have come up to visit Ithaca so many times. I would have gone in that room and played Minesweeper all over that esports room. Y'all couldn't room have escaped. That is too good for, like, the, the PCs are like 5,000 each. The amount of Minesweeper games you could be playing at one time on those computers is insane. Oh my god. Anyway, so, 
Here, okay, so for people in chat who do not know, this is how you play Minesweeper. Thomas, pay attention. Okay. Um, so the goal of the game is to click on every single tile that is not a mine. You want to clear the entire board and click on every single tile without clicking on any of the mines. And the way that you know which tile is a mine is by the numbers. These numbers tell you how many tiles that number is touching that are mines. And that includes adjacents, like oh. diagonals. Um, oh, Pink Tapes, thank you for donating $3. Well, thank you. Um, so for example, this one right here, uh, this one is telling you that it is touching one mine. Well, this one is only touching one tile. Therefore, we know that that tile has to be a mine. So you can flag it. Oh, okay, so it's just all like just pattern recognition, basically. It's all numbers. pattern recognition. Ah, it's all okay. pattern recognition. Once you get good enough at the game, you don't have to think through the patterns anymore. It really just becomes reflexes, which is how you get, you know, the insanely good scores. So using that logic, you can continue to solve the rest of the board. For example, that would also be in mind that one is only touching one tile. This two is touching three tiles, but we already have two of them flagged as mines. So we know that the third tile it's touching can't be a mine. You can clear it there. Uh, this one is already touching a mine. All the other tiles it's touching can't be mines. This four is only touching four tiles, so they must all be mines, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So. God, that's insane. Yep. And yeah, basically, this is works. just Counter-Strike. Yeah, 100%. It's just Counter-Strike. Oh, yeah, and it's as popular as Counter-Strike also. <laughs> It has as booming a community. Surprisingly, the Twitch community, the My Super Twitch community, is pretty expansive. I mean, we're seeing some people show up in chat now. I remember when I remember seeing Hakaru, who's a chess person, play this on his stream. He was insanely good at it. But I would I would assume that like this and chess have like a lot of overlap, which is really weird. It makes sense. Like a lot of because people, it's all pattern recognition and stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of people who play Minesweeper are also big in Tetris. Yeah, I'm very big. I'm is, a huge Tetris player, so. I yeah, do you know Minecraft. um Firestorm, crap, 58? I think okay. his name is. He's like one of the best Tetris players in the world, apparently. Oh. Firestorm, you don't know? No. Because oh, I know he streams right Tetris. Sometimes he's in my chat. He's really cool. Um, But he doesn't want to stream Minesweeper until he gets better. That can, it's really funny because some... I feel like the Minesweeper Twitch streamers are split half and half between people who are really good at Minesweeper and people who are beginners but want to stream it anyway. <laughs> like they're just streaming it for fun. Okay, I'm removing cap so I can add peep OG so we can talk, we can think. Are there any other questions that you had for the interview? Um, okay, wait, give me two seconds. Two seconds, uh, okay. I'm adding, why didn't it work? Oh, I got it caught up in chat. Yeah. <laughs> the My Super community is amazing. Can confirm. Yes, Evan, exactly. Oh, cool. And we have POG. Okay. Oh, and for people who aren't here for my community and are here for IC Esports, uh, hi, I'm CJ from NJ. Uh, my IRL name is Chloe, so that's typically what people call me if they know me IRL, like Thomas. Um, and I stream on my own channel, twitch.tv slash cjfromnj, and that URL is above my head. Yeah, so if you guys don't already follow Chloe, please go follow Chloe. She's great. She streams a lot, actually. You've been streaming a whole lot. I, yeah, I try to stream three nights a week. That's my confirmed schedule, and then sometimes I'll do bonus streams um, throughout the week. Like, uh, one time I did a collab stream on a Saturday night with another CJ from New Jersey who also plays Wizard 101. Uh, I think he's actually in chat right now, somewhere chilling. Oh, you got a thing, by the way, you have to say that. You're the I got a thing? Oh, make yeah, me say something? Thing. Go ahead, have fun. Is it just the the first verse of <laughs> Super B? I think. I can do that. This one is for the boys with the boomer system. Top down AC with a cooler system. When he come up in the club and he blazing up, got stacks on deck like he's saving up. And he yeah, ill, he do. real, he might <laughs> got a deal. He pop bottles and the right kind of build. He cold, he dope, he might sell coke. He always in the air, but he never fly coach. He a motherfucking drip, drip, sail him on the sailor of the ship, ship. When he make a drip, drip, kiss him on the lip. lip. That's the kind of doom that I was looking for. And yes, it gets smacked if you look and oh, I said, excuse me, you're a hell of a guy. Me, my mind like fell flat. Me, so shine. I'm loving your tie. I like sticking the guy with the thing in his eye. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Somebody please. <laughs> Tell them who the F.I. is. I am Nicki Minaj. I'm acting dudes up. Back who's up and chuck the deuce up. Well, you got my... Okay, I'm not... 
I like that they put the lyrics. I like that they put the lyrics into chat as if I needed them. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, question. Yes. With Minesweeper, what's the face at the top? Oh, it's just a little graphic. Oh, okay. It, it, like, I've you can always, see its, it's face change. I always ask, because it just changes whenever you do something. It's so weird. Yeah, it's it's just a little mood indicator, I guess. I don't know. It's just a feature of the game. But okay. when you die, like, here, I'll die on purpose, makes a little X death face. And then when you win, <laughs> it's a smiley face with sunglasses. Oh, that's great. I remember yeah. seeing you play one time. You played a Garfield skin of the game. I actually rad. have that pulled up ready on this scene. Oh, thank God. For maybe for later. We'll uh Perfect. <laughs> I'll, I'll maybe that. pull it up later, but I had a feeling someone was going to bring it up. <laughs> I so... remember that scene very very well cuz everyone there's like why is it orange? Yeah, one one of the things I am proud of is I brought Garfield to my sweeper to the Twitch my sweeper community and I made it a meme. <laughs> Because the thing about Garfield Minesweeper is only one of the official Minesweeper programs lets you, it makes it very easy to upload custom skins. And that's the one that I would always use. And there's a subreddit for skins for that <laughs> Minesweeper program. And I found the Garfield Minesweeper. And I was like, oh, absolutely. This is great. This is wonderful. What is the official, like, you said there are different programs. What are the official programs mm -hmm. that people use for it? So the most popular one is called Arbiter. That's what I'm using right now. It's the one that has the most stats. Um, you can really keep track of stuff really well. Um, so pros use it to track a lot of things. You can see on the screen, I have a little rectangle with all these numbers on it. That's the counters screen. So those are all the stats that Minesweeper players can track in order to you know help improve their performance uh, by maxing out their or rather minimizing stats. I don't know, it depends on the number. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what half these numbers are. <laughs> yeah, like, I was think, not a lot like... of people do, honestly. <laughs> They're just there, they track something. Yeah, the most important ones are 3BV, 3BV per second, obviously time, and sometimes people play for IOE, which is something of efficiency, I think, but even I don't really do that, so. Yeah, so Arbiter is the most popular one. Uh, Minesweeper X is the second most popular one. That's actually the one they recommend for beginners. It's simpler to use, and that's the one where you can do all the custom skins and stuff. And the reason I used it at first is because I started playing Minesweeper on Windows 7. And Windows 7 Minesweeper has a very specific skin. So it was hard for me to make the transition to this old, boring, gray Minesweeper game. So I played a Minesweeper... X and I used a Windows 7 skin, but eventually I made the switch to the regular um, gray Minesweeper. And then the third one is the least most popular. It's called Vienna Sweeper. It was really only used as a tournament clone. Um, mm -hmm. Not People really don't use it all that much, so it's not super notable, but that's the third accepted one. Yeah, what's 3BV stand for and like all the stats, if you know? 3BV is um, it's pretty much calculating clicks per tile solve. Oh my god, I'm so bad at explaining it. I barely know what it means, honestly. <laughs> um, it's like the number of clicks that it... It's not the number of clicks it takes you to solve the board, but it has to do with clicks. So mm -hmm. 3BV per second is calculating how many clicks you're making per second that like actually solve things or something like that. Pretty much the better your 3BV per second you're going to be way more efficient at clearing a board. Okay. Kind of. Oh, oh, Exalted has the answer. 3BV is the minimum number of clicks to solve a board without flags. So you can see I'm flagging as I play the board, but mm -hmm. if you play without flags, you're really just clicking. Oh, darn it. I didn't mean to click that. You're really just clicking like, I need a good opening. Darn it. <laughs> that's the problem with playing something that's not Windows 7. Ah, oh, there we are. Um, it's playing without the flag. So really you're just, I call, I don't want to say that on the IC Esports channel. Anyway, I call it, um, raw dogging Minesweeper because you're playing without flags. <laughs> gotcha. You're just going in like all you're natural. Not, you're not if you no, fly yeah. something, can you go in and like, is, is there a point to it? Just, it or just like marks that it, you know, it's a bomb. No, there's a point to it. Cause with flags, you can do something called courting. Um, okay. for example, so you remember the logic I talked about last time where this one is touching one tile. Mm -hmm. 
it was, it, we already know that this tile, this one is touching is a mine. So all the other mines is touching, all the other tiles is touching cannot be mines. Mm -hmm. If you right click and left click at the same time on this number one, the game is going to automatically clear the tiles you already know aren't mines. Boom. And then when you're playing, this is not a good board to demonstrate it on, but if you're playing a game like this, it can make oh. it go a lot faster because then you can just cord and then it'll automatically remove tiles that you already know aren't mine. So that's oh. how that's okay. how I'm clearing multiple tiles in one click is with cording. So that's the point of flags. Oh, okay. That makes also, a they lot, make lot, it. Lot yeah. Also, they make it easier. You know, like also that yeah, point yeah, you yeah, said like, yeah. where you just, just like, can tell it's mine. Flag is. Yeah. That's super interesting. I actually didn't know there's like that much in-depth stuff in this game. I oh, legitimately yeah. thought it was like this is that's <laughs> that's actually so interesting. The world of Minesweeper is is de is has hidden depths. <laughs> yeah. You got to really be a part of it to learn all. I mean, obviously I still have stuff to know. You know, yeah. like I I'm very much a speed player. I'm really not a technical player. Like I still have to learn how to recognize more advanced um, patterns. And again, I barely know what half these numbers are in, mm -hmm. in the counters, so. I see it only goes up, like, have there ever been like things where you get like a six or a seven? Yeah, number? you can get eights. You can? Yeah, it's it's all about um, okay. random number generation. Oh my God, hi, Lormster. Lormster. Today's Minesweeper content. That's my brother. Liam is, Lormster is uh, my brother, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one in chat demanding, was, demanding Wizard 101. Where's the nine exalted? <laughs> Technically, can there? No, there can't be a nine. No, there can't be a nine. There's a really funny meme video, though, where you click and it's a nine, and then it's like the dun dun music. It's really funny. <laughs> Made me laugh real hard. <laughs> it's somewhere in my Discord server. Someone sent it to me. I was like, thank you. This is good. This is great. I didn't realize there was, yeah, there's so much depth into this game. I, I, I understand it's all pattern recognition, but like, it's different. Because it's like you. I can't even begin to describe like how how would you go about this thinking about this because it just seems very like different than a lot of games. Yeah, it's you really just get the hang of it after practicing. Mm -hmm. You know, people sometimes pe new people will come to my chat and ask, "How did you get to be like this? <laughs> like why? Uh, how?" And I'll just go years of practice. It yeah. literally just comes after years of playing this game. Probably. Darn it. Nothing is more heartbreaking, though, than having a real good game and the last mine is a 50-50 guess and then you guess it wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the, the worst part about it, I think, is either that or, like, the opening. Because I always see you just, as soon as you restart, you just click randomly to find some opening. Yeah, because the reality is, yeah, the reality is when you're playing Minesweeper, you lose most games. If it's mm -hmm. expert. Like, when you're playing expert, you lose most games. Unless you're a really, really good player. But most games are lost to misclicks or bad openings or you just, you know, screw up or it's hard. You lose most games. So I definitely credit Minesweeper for teaching me patience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Not patient enough. <laughs> no, I play Tetris enough. I play it as fast as I can because I just want to get the game over with. Mm -hmm. Boom, Tetris. Can you do, like, bigger boards? I think I've seen you do, like gigantic boards and stuff like that. And I bet you could do like even like smaller stuff, can you? Yeah, you can. So there are three official sizes of Minesweeper. I can actually change to them now. Uh, so this is beginner, this small board right here. This is called the beginner size. Okay. Um, this is intermediate. So it's the medium one. This is personally my favorite size to play because it's not too hard, not too easy. Mm -hmm. You can go kind of fast. I like this one. And then this is expert. This is the biggest official standard board. So okay. when you're submitting your scores like to the official leaderboards, these are the three sizes that they have. Beginning, beginner, intermediate, expert. But there are custom sizes. You can see here, like I have an option for custom board. So you can go in and change how many mines are in it and how many tiles are like its width and height. Okay. Um, and then there's like a few challenges. I know there's the 2000 mine challenge where it's a 100 by 100 board and there's 2000 mines. I want to do that. Oh, I have an invisible menu. Yeah, Exalted, yeah, thanks for letting me know. The menu's invisible. But there's there's a little like game option and then you can change all the mines, uh, all the boards. And then there's a custom board option. So like here, I'll make a custom board right now. You guys can't see it, but you'll see the result. Um... That's here insane. let's make it let's let's make it something really obvious let's make it let's make it 
five <laughs> minds. <laughs> make it what? Five minds. I just oh, want to make it obvious that like it's a custom board. Like no board would ever be this easy. So Ooh, this is like 25 by 25, five minds, boom. Like pretty much solved. <laughs> Man, still loading, so still you loading. can do custom boards like that. Oh my god. I think I know where the mines are. <laughs> yes, even a beginner would be able to solve that board pretty easily. Okay. How do f the number of mines like changed like on the legal like maps? Do the numbers of mines change at all or no? From beginner to intermediate to expert, yeah. On beginner okay. there's only ten mines, oh, uh so there's intermediate that's, that's that number. Yeah. Every single map. Oh, okay. There's a set number every single map. That's the standard. Otherwise, you know, you can't have a standardized yeah. way to measure everyone. I was just so... saying, there's like a chance that it can be like a bit more, a bit less. Okay, but that makes sense. That makes <laughs> sense. Then. No, yeah. The number of mines and the size of the board are always standardized, but they're randomly generated. So you have no mm -hmm. idea where they're going to be, blah, 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 stuff like that. 69 mine game. My, my friend Cobalt Knight is asking for a 69 mine game. <laughs> What okay, let's do expert on 69 mines. Okay. That that is also a challenge. 69 mines. You do you play a, a a board the size of an expert board, but you make it 69 mines instead of 99 mines. Oh, it's so usually it's 99 for expert. Yes, normally okay. it's 99, but there's a 69 mine challenge. Okay, wouldn't that be easier then? Yes, it is easier. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so people just compete to try and get um the best time for 69 mines you can tell i'm having a way easier time with this yeah it's a lot more open yep things well, clear a lot faster flag something that isn't a bomb does it do anything or no um it'll fuck you up later Oop, i cursed oh, um okay. it'll screw you up later gotcha because if you try courting and obviously you marked it as a as a mine when it's not so that's going to screw up your logic for the rest of the board mm, okay okay Uh, oh, it was a six. There we go. Actually, what's my best time on <laughs> six? Because I've played this before. Another Minesweeper um, streamer did a challenge in her Discord. Is like if someone could get a better score than her, then they'd get some kind of prize. And I won. Oh, wow. So I have, I do have a personal best. You can see on my screen, I have my personal best listed on the bottom of the screen. I do have one for 69 Mines. I just haven't written it. So oh, okay. I need a... Shoot, I need to find it. <laughs> um, yeah, you I need got to a go... six and a five. Wow. Let's see if I can find it. I'm going through the. I'm going through all my messages that I've ever sent in her server to see <laughs> if I can find my. 40 so seconds, 39.51 seconds. This is pretty close. Oh, you're really close. You <laughs> this is pretty close to my, my best 69 mine time. That's pretty good. All right, I'm going to figure that out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn streamer mode back on. How to turn it off in order to look through the Discord. Okay, streamer mode is back on. <laughs> Chat saying sarcastically challenge. <laughs> <laughs> but see, yeah, okay. is it just a lot easier? Expert. It yeah, it's a lot easier. Okay. That I think I just got real lucky. That that turned out really well. What's your okay? So at the bottom is your um. These are my personal best. Yeah. So okay. NF stands for no flag. So you can tell some of my boards are better on flags. Some of my boards had a better time using mm -hmm. no flag. The thing about your beginner score, it's literally all luck. You just need to hope for a really good board. Is it one second? one yeah that's one that's 1. 1.4 seconds oh my god yeah that's ascended donut says it actually stands for no fun man for some people it does like there are some ice players who cannot play without flags you know it's just not how they play like everyone yeah. has a different play style so exalted says beginner is evil yeah you're right <laughs> <laughs> so interesting I've like never even dived into Minesweeper because I remember you seeing you play. And I was like, oh well, it's it's like an interesting game, but I've never like delved into like how it actually works. It's so interesting. Oh, I am a big uh, proponent of people starting to play Minesweeper. That's the entire <laughs> point of my channel is trying to recruit people for the Minesweeper cult. So, oh god, if you want to start playing, I'm more than happy to. Oh god, help you out. 
Making another cult outside of, ICT, out of Game Over on ICTV. Nice. <laughs> So no flag is harder. That's get it. Okay. No flag is harder, but it's technically <laughs> faster. Is yeah, the thing. Like you if you can master no flag, you can go fast. Okay. And the thing is, once I for a period of time, I was forced to play only no flag on stream because my mouse broke. <laughs> okay. So I spent months training. Darn it! I didn't mean to click that. I could have won that game. I spent months training in the way of no flag. So my no flag is actually pretty okay. Like here, let's let's see if I can play this game of No Flag Expert. This is gonna oh suck. Is it left or what is it? Right click for flag or right just left click for like regular thing? Yeah, it's right click to flag, left click to clear. Okay. Oh jeez. I actually have a clip on my channel. My first time ever beating a No Flag game. It's I I am very happy <laughs> in the, in that clip. It's a very cute clip. That's it's not possible because some quotes are more efficient than period of flag Oh, okay, interesting. So I get, so it's like, it's faster because you don't have to click, but then it's not faster sometimes. Because you have because to it, think. Yeah, because to think of like, is this gonna like mess up the chord? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's faster because you click less, obviously, but it's harder because you don't have that help of the flags mm -hmm. telling you what's darn it, telling you what's what. So if you get real good at just remembering things, like you you gotta be a really insanely good Minesweeper player to be super good at no flag, really. Yeah. Like it takes a lot of brain power to do that. You have to be very smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I was gonna ask this, like what got you into Minesweeper and then subsequently what got you into like streaming Minesweeper? Ah, uh, the Minesweeper origin story. Oh, Every Minesweeper streamer has one. You go into any Minesweeper stream, they will have a Minesweeper origin story. It's like a joke among the Minesweeper community. It's a thing. Uh, my Minesweeper origin story. So I was at my friend's house in middle school. I think I was in either seventh or sixth grade. I can't remember. Uh, and we both had our laptops with us. These old, you know, Windows 7 laptops with the games automatically downloaded on them. And her Wi-Fi went out. There was a thunderstorm. All the power went out, including the Wi-Fi. So we had literally nothing to do to entertain ourselves, except, oh, tracked shot, thank you so much for following. We had nothing to do to entertain ourselves, except play the games that were already downloaded on our laptops. Mm -hmm. And that was my first time ever winning a Minesweeper game because I had seen people play it and I vaguely knew the numbers tell you where the mines are. Mm -hmm. And I won the very first game of Minesweeper I ever played. I won it. And I was like, how the hell did I do that? <laughs> so I kept playing Minesweeper. You're kidding. I only have a 50-50 guest left on this board. Oh God. Okay, chat. Okay, chat. This is this is your job. This is your time to shine. Which Who tile is it? Is it? should I, it's here. Which tile should I click? Which one is not a mine, top or bottom? I see chat saying top. Evan's saying top, yeah, Shanti's to saying top. up. Everyone's saying up. No! <laughs> Is it not? No, it was the bottom one. It's okay, we'll get him next time. But see, I was about to win that game on no flag. That was about to be mm. really good. Anyway, um... Oh, Ithaca Esports redeemed. Oh yeah, they redeemed yeah, the yeah, AMA. Exactly. Uh, so I won my very first game of Minesweeper that I ever played at my friend's house on that sleepover. And I literally did not understand how I did it. So I kept playing Minesweeper to try and figure out how I did that. And it just snowballed from there. I never stopped playing Minesweeper. <laughs> I, I kept playing obsessed throughout middle school, obsessed all throughout high school. And the reason I started streaming, I literally just for the meme, you know, like I was a senior in high school. It was May 2017. And I just thought to myself, how funny would it be if I was a Minesweeper streamer? I think that'd be hilarious. And that's why I wanted to stream. So technically, my first ever stream was May 12th, 2017. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I downloaded OBS Studio. My friend at the time, now boyfriend, uh, RJ from NJ, uh, taught me how to stream using OBS Studio. And I streamed my very first Minesweeper stream. And I, at, during college, I streamed maybe once or twice a year just for fun whenever I was bored. Mm. But I was never really serious about it. And then the pandemic started 
and a bunch of my friends were getting into streaming and I streamed on in August 2020 a Minesweeper stream for the first time in like years and I decided to just bite the bullet become serious about it I bought a blue yeti right after that stream and then I started regularly streaming September 9th 2020 nice yeah I remember when you bought the bought the blue yeti we yes and then it, it broke and now I have an, another one yep I got the same blue yeti you did the blue one the blue one yeah hey. it was the only one they had at Best Buy <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna- the little kid was gonna get it, but I got it before him, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I see people sharing their own origin stories in chat. I want to see their origin stories. Exalted was a bad student in college and played about 2,000 games during classes during my time. I remember the day I hit 100,000 games of Minesweeper. You can count um, how many games you've played? Oh my gosh. That, that, that was back in high school. I have now- I think I've doubled that number at least Jesus. since then. Because the thing about the 100,000 games, that was only the MySweeper games that I had played on the Windows 7 MySweeper on my laptop. That mm. was not including the games on Arbiter or MySweeper X or Vienna Sweeper or any online games or any other devices that I played on. That was Damn. only my Windows 7 laptop MySweeper program. Mm -hmm. So the number is definitely higher then. Ooh, Tracked Shot has shared. My story was I didn't know how the game worked. And this guy who was a friend of my mom told me the numbers, told me how many mines are near. Oh, and then and then you got into it. There you go. Oh, wow. Amazing. We love to see it. And just a reminder to everyone in chat, this is a charity stream. We are raising money for a great cause. So if you're able to donate, please donate. If you're able to follow or subscribe, you can totally do that. And if you want to follow my personal channel, because this is my alma mater's channel, my personal channel is CJ from NJ my my name is up there yeah. oh we can also link it in chat if anybody needs yes yeah we can do let's do wait we can drop the donate link i'll do the donate yeah, link the donate link is either okay. it's in the chat yeah right there or if you go scroll down to the um about thing under the under the stream you're gonna see the donate here button click it and there are also donation incentives if you yes. donate you can make me do things <laughs> at, at different uh levels evan i was considering the blue yeti x and i decided to just splurge on the blue yeti you know, was, what's the point of having a Blue big girl Yeti. job if I can't spend yeah. money on stream stuff? People were saying of the Blue Yeti Mini, but then I heard one person say that it was bad. I was like, okay, well, I might as well just get the full Blue Yeti. Because I haven't heard any bad things about, like, the actual Blue Yeti. Yeah, I mean, the Blue Yeti is just a classic. Yeah, true. You know, like, you see it, you see so many YouTubers using it. Mm -hmm. I mean, today I was watching the news and one of their um, correspondents had a blue yeah. yeti like in the shot it was one of so... the big things that a lot of people got during the like newscasters got the during the pandemic was really good webcams and really good microphones yeah i mean there was a shortage of webcams yeah. and microphones because everyone started streaming or yep. like using them for web conferences was, and stuff like that there's a shortage of webcams microphones and game captures i think I, my girlfriend helped me bought buy mine from best buy a couple weeks ago so I oh you mean like a, a capture card or something yeah i got a i got a what is a capture card and i got a logi i got a disc webcam a capture card is one of the things that I'm planning on getting later on in my stream mm -hmm. journey. Because right now I don't need it because everything I play is on PC. And I don't need a capture card for uh, Minesweeper. But eventually <laughs> I want to stream some stuff on Switch. So Yeah, that, the I'm reason I got one is I want to stream Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Audio tech on mic? Ooh, I've heard those are really, really good. But those are hella expensive, I think. Yeah. Blue Yeti works for oh, me. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, Jay got the $14 Amazon capture card, and apparently it works amazing, so. Amazing. Uh, That's yeah. great. We love a good deal. We stan. And then I bought mine for, like, 100 bucks. so. <sighs> yeah, I'm yeah, Jay is I'm gonna on wait. that $14 capture card a lot, so maybe <laughs> I should have looked into that. <laughs> maybe you should look into it, too, Chloe. Ooh, maybe. I'll have to ask for a link. Oh yeah, I remember Ethan was talking about it. That's where we found out about it. I remember when I was shopping for, when I was a producer of Game Over and I was looking for the capture card to buy for the show. Mm -hmm. And I remember um, the, like the head of uh, ICTV was like, well, you, your show budget's a little less than this, but if this is going to be a piece of equipment that everyone is going to be using, <laughs> Then, then you can splurge a little bit. So we yeah, were able we to get like the it. more expensive, nice one. It was good. It was great. Nice. Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm in giveaway room right now still. And I keep remembering them being like, yeah, we could give you the capture card that we have. I'm like, where do we have a capture card? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Evan wants to stream Switch stuff. Evan, you should do it. 
You should True. definitely do it. I can stream Animal Crossing and chat can be bad at me at how I've neglected my island. I should probably look up my island. My girlfriend has been playing it. My girlfriend played it when the new update or something came out not too long ago. Dude, I, I got like Animal Crossing burnout, I think. I don't know what it was. Yeah, like, I'm it. one of those people who was playing a ton when, it, yeah. when I first got it, when it first came out. And then I just stopped playing. Like, yeah. I haven't picked it up in months. And the don't thing is, I it's not even like that I don't play Animal Crossing because I have it on my GameCube. I still love playing it on my GameCube. I also still play it on my DS. For me, the problem with the new Animal Crossing is that there's just too much. Like, yeah. is the DIY really? Oh, it's so overwhelming. Like, I just I don't, don't like the DIYing. It's, There's it's too like many Stardew choices Valley and now. options. It's like sort of where I would literally walk in and be like, well, I could do this, 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 or this and still make tons of money, but I don't know what to do. Yeah, I prefer the, the one on GameCube is my favorite. It has a very special place in my heart. Who's your favorite villager? Do you have one? Um, well, I'm Mar Gala is my favorite. Um, I don't know why she joined my thing and I love her. She's great. And then my <laughs> best friend is Bam, who's a blue deer. I love him. I forget Aww. what he calls me, but I love him. He's great. My favorite villager is Apollo, like the mm. eagle wearing the leather jacket, because oh, yeah. he's one of my original villagers in my GameCube village. Mm. He was there from the very beginning and he's still there. And he's one of the villagers that Nintendo has kept in the game. All that's the way great. to New Horizons. So that's that's very lovely for me. I don't have him in my village yet, <laughs> is a thing. He's like the number one villager that I want to get. Mm. So maybe someday. So I have, this is the first Animal Crossing I've played, and I don't. So I don't really have like any. What is it? Oh yeah, Owen loves Simon the monkey. I remember Aww. when we first played the game, me and Owen were playing about it, and we got the <laughs> elephant slide, which is the new froggy chair. Because there's no froggy chair. Yes. Sadly. Wait, there's no froggy chair in the new uh, in the New Horizons? No, there isn't. That's that's a crime. I know it's a crime. It's really can we take out a class action idea. lawsuit against yeah, Nintendo? Really should. Nintendo really dropped the ball on that one. Emotional Froggy damages. Where is Froggy Chair? <laughs> they can put it in in an update though, right? If we get yeah. if we did do some kind of demands. Yeah, probably. I remember I did that, and then I had a photo of Jay as one of, as like my bedding because, or I made an entire room Darn. just the wallpaper of Jay's face. <laughs> I remember that happening. Yeah, what? Do you have any games that you really want to get a Switch remake? Because for me, I really want a Nintendogs remake and a My Sims remake. I think a Nintendogs remake. On Switch I think so a well. Nintendogs remake would be the best thing Nintendo's ever. Would so much money not doing Nintendogs. So much. I it, think it, it's portable now. It's in, it's great. Um, I, I think a Nintendogs remake would be in, Nintendo's like smartest move mm -hmm. someone get me in, if anyone from nintendo was listening someone get me in touch with someone at nintendo are there any ic alumni at nintendo there, there's so many like <laughs> good fan suggestions that nintendo would make bank off of like they're just they just don't listen to their fans also if so they should do a nintendogs remake a my sims remake i loved my sims i would snatch up oh, a my yeah. sims remake in a heartbeat also i think they should do a wii sports but for the switch Oh yeah, they totally should do. Oh, I can't right. understand how they haven't the, done one already. What we got is one two switch, basically, which is understandable, but like they should do it. Also, if you don't have it, um, fifty one board games or whatever it is has bowling. It's basically we bowling, and it's great. It's oh good. It's oh, I'm saying they should remake Mario Kart Double Dash. I think the problem is that Mario Kart, like they technically already have a Mario Kart for the Switch. Well, it's not. The, it's not a. It's not a different Mario Kart game. It's Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. It's like a. Thing. Yeah, like they already have the Mario yeah. Kart for like the Switch. Even... I don't know if they would make another for the Switch, even if it's a remake of Double Dash. I think they're going to make another Mario Kart for the Switch. Fuck you, Double Dash. Understandable. <laughs> Fuck you, remake Double Dash. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm with you. I just don't think they would do it because from their perspective, they already have a Mario Kart mm -hmm. for the Switch. Like, I, they're from a marketing perspective, they would be worried that if someone wants to buy a Mario Kart for the Switch... It would divide people. They would either make an option to buy one or the other instead of buying both. Yeah, true. You know? I can see that. Someone said, oh, let me, let me tell my uncle real quick. Wait, don't tell me your uncle works at Nintendo. <laughs> Does my someone uncle, have an in at Nintendo? Nintendo? Yeah. My uncle works at Nintendo. He can get you banned off the servers. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to be banned from Nintendo. <laughs> But all the remakes I really wanted are, like, coming out. Like, we're getting a new Pokemon game, which I'm excited for. Yes! Even though I, really, even though I wasn't, like, 
a lot of people are really unhappy with Sword and Shield. I'm not unhappy with Sword and Shield. I like Sword and Shield, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Di the Di Diamond Pearl remakes look scary, but the Arceus game looks sick as hell. The the Arceus game, a Pokemon game set in feudal Japan is exactly yeah. what I was hoping for. I, I didn't even I didn't even know I needed it. You know, but yeah, I do. I it was not even a concept in my mind, and then it came up like during the Pokemon Presents, and I went, wow. I had no idea how badly I needed this, and they have just given it to me. <laughs> I'm so excited. Honestly, even if the remakes of Gen 4 look bad, I don't care. I'm buying them. Yeah. I'm spending were, my money. I don't care. Yeah, I think that's everybody's going to do it. People were very afraid there was going to be a Let's Go thing, um, which is understandable, because when Let's Go came out, people were very scared that it was going to be really crap, and it kind of was. <laughs> Rip. But... This one does, it just looks kind of dumb. It looks in this chibi 3D art style, which is like, okay, but the battles still look good. And apparently we're getting Mega Evolutions is the rumor, so. Mm. Yeah, see, I really like the old art style of it. Like the 8-bit, I think yeah. it's really cute. I'm still excited though. When I saw the underground in the Pokemon Presents, yeah. I literally almost cried. That was uh, Like tears came nice. to my eyes. They try to make it look pretty. The one scary thing is that it's not Game Freak. It's um, whatever it is. It's the other developer. Aren't they yeah. partnering though, or no? We're helping with them, but it's not like it's. They, they don't have it's like not only help. Game Freak. Yeah. I have high hopes, and even if it does suck, I'm still gonna buy it. <laughs> yeah, no, just to have not. it. People are still gonna buy it. That's the basic thing with Nintendo. If it's like, like a Smash Brothers, even if it's bad, you're gonna buy it. Yeah, and I mean, with some with a game as beloved as Gen Four. Mm -hmm, exactly. People are gonna buy it. Do you, are there any more questions for me oh, yeah. <laughs> for for the interview portion or are we just we, chatting? We don't, a, we don't have a tangent, I'm sorry. Um, oh yeah, Ascended Donut has the opinion that the original Diamond Pearl isn't good. What is wrong with you? That's that, which is really uh, a very controversial <laughs> opinion Pokemon because Boomer? <laughs> that's my favorite one. Pokemon Boomer Gen 5 was the last fun one start to finish. Yeah, but true though. I actually, Chloe, legitimately, I did a nostalgia review of your Pokemon Black and White for Game Over about, like, two weeks ago. Is it that old for a nostalgia review? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it came out in, like, 2010. Stop! No! No! Seven oh years? Oh, my God. I feel it's so old. I mean, Driftville City is, of course, iconic, so... Oh, yeah, true. When are we getting a Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 remake? That's the question for you, Chloe. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Maybe, hopefully soon. Wait, didn't they already announce it? No? They announced they might skate think it's something else. That was a big thing. They announced Skate 3. Skate 3 is happening. Yeah, they announced Skate 3. I really thought they... No, I'm think I'm definitely thinking of Skate 3. Um, hopefully Thank soon. God. Look, the with enough fan demand, he would do it. Tony Hawk yeah, is a true. man of the people. You seen his Twitter? Mm -hmm. I think if enough people tweeted him, Yo, Tony. <laughs> Tony. Yo, Mark. Tony. I think he would do it, like, just yeah, for the probably. fans. Did you see he did, speaking of Tony Hawk randomly, he, like, retired his move or whatever it was? That was oh. really weird. It was really sad, though. Are you talking about the video where he did that, where he, he recreated his, his flip or something? Yeah, or and no? it was, like, the last time he was ever going to do it. Yep. He started crying after it. I was like, man, I don't like skateboarding, but, man, that was sad. No, I, I rewatched that video, like, every once in a while, because his son is like, there. Wow. He was like, my son was there for the first time I did this, and now he's here for the last time I'll do it. Damn. It's so... It, it's very sweet. And, like, he, you can see in the video, he's trying over and over and over again, and he even, like, hurts I, himself. I never understood how hard skateboarding is until I've seen Tony Hawk try to do it when he's, like, really old. I was like, wow, that looks really, really hard. <laughs> he was a skater boy. Yeah. He said, see you later, boy. <laughs> I don't know if, if I have any more questions. I think we've kind of discussed a lot, a lot of it. I don't know if, if the chat has any more questions for you, but I'm yeah. still interested in Vitzer. Vitzer was just like, I, I'm, I'm so, I'm really surprised that you could do it while talking as well. It seems like something that you have to put a lot of, a lot of like, thought into. Well, the thing is, like, it's all reflex now. If you watch some clips on my channel of like my personal best and high scores. I get them while doing other things. <laughs> like, I will be in the middle of talking and I'll get a PB. I'll be in the middle of singing and I'll get a PB. It'll catch me by surprise because I don't even look at the time until I'm done. Mm -hmm. You know? So I don't even... You can't see it on stream because it's not part of the capture, I guess. But a little pop-up window shows up that you have mm -hmm. to click out of in order to keep playing that will tell you, hey, you just got your high score. So every single time, I don't even realize I got my PB 
until that pop-up shows up and I go, what was that? And I look at my time and then I freak out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I feel like that's what a lot of people like. So we're just with Rubik's cubes and stuff like that. I remember doing that with Tetris as well, like kind of zoning out and just letting like my mind play. Yeah. I mean, that's that's normally like when you're in the zone, that's when you yeah. get your scores. True. Remember, I would just listen to songs like on blast in my headphones at three in the morning while playing Tetris. I mean, I'll watch YouTube videos while getting scores mm -hmm. very close to my PB. Like my PB, you can see is 66.90 oh, seconds. Sense. Today, I got at least five sub 75 second games while I was watching YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Like I will literally have YouTube open on one half of my monitor and then Minesweeper open on the other half. And I will just play as, wait, did I win? Yeah, you oh, did. I did. <laughs> you got six there, like... you got six two fives. Yeah, I was, I was wondering where the other tiles were and I was like, oh, <laughs> I finished the game. <laughs> Chloe Minaj. Oh, thanks for clipping that. Um, case in case point. In yeah, point. yeah, yeah, exactly. You just talk. Like, oh, wow. We only have five minutes left of our time. We only have five minutes left. Wow. Oh, time God. really flies when I, you're having fun. I actually fun. really did fly. Wow. I actually didn't realize that was an hour. Okay. Any, any last minute questions for Chloe here while she is here? If you guys any are questions for me to answer her. in the final five minutes, yeah. or I can just rant. I don't know. I can just talk. No idea. I've gotten so close to sub nineties while just talking with chat. That's the thing. Like, and then you get those really good scores while doing other stuff. And then you think to yourself, if I hadn't been doing other stuff, would I have actually like done gotten that. my PV, you know, yeah. like there's always, oh, darn it. There's always that little voice in the back of your head. Like if you weren't doing something else, are they remaking Twilight Princess? For no, they're remaking Skyward Sword. For one second, because of the way that message was cut off, all I read was, are they remaking Twilight? And I was like, damn, I hope so. Because <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing about Twilight. If you read the books. Oh, we're talking about Twilight. The, oh my God. We're talking about Twilight now. That's what we're doing oh, for the last no. four minutes of, of my sweeper. Are they remaking Twilight? No, and they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they're not remaking Twilight. No false alarms. They're not remaking Twilight. But it the movies did the characters so dirty. The movies aren't bad because of the actors. The movies are bad because of the writing. If you read the books, which I have more than once, thank you very much. Like I'm Bella sorry. has wow. personality. She's she's a little spunky. Yeah, I feel she like has some bite watched, to her. I've never watched the Twilight movies or even read the books, but she seems like she's just a very plain character. And like, I remember seeing like all of the jokes of her be like, yeah, she has like no character. And well, she knows yeah, the movie made her out to be some yeah. kind of blank slate. Like, blank but if slate, you yeah. actually read the book, she actually has a character. Like she has a personality. So my dream would be for a Twilight remake to actually do justice to the characters. Like, actually write a spunky Bella with personality who actually wants control over her life, you know? Yeah. Like, actually do justice to this main character. Because that's the main reason Twilight falls apart, in my opinion. They did the main character so dirty. How the heck are you supposed to have a good movie when the main character is a blank slate, you know? Yeah. Also, if you remake, remake it, you can't change the... You can't change... Take out... Uh, what's his name? Taylor Lautner? Whatever his name. Taylor Lautner, yeah. Yeah, you can't take him away. Nobody can play him anymore. Well, the thing is, um, Taylor. I don't think Taylor Lautner is doing movies like that anymore. Oh, probably not. Like, he made some kind of public statement. He's no longer taking his shirt off in movies. Oh, no. Because he felt objectified, man, you know? Oh, yeah, true. Understandable. He felt oh. totally objectified. He like, he was, was putting a lot of stress. Yeah, he was putting a lot of stress on his body to look the way that he was. So, oh, yeah, I think they should just put in Shark Boy in place of, of Jacob Black. Speaking of was it wasn't there the, the sequel to Shark Boy and Love with Girl? Yeah, Didn't they it did. Really uh, bad? It's with their kids. Oh right, their daughter or something. It's on Netflix. I haven't seen it. I've never. Seen, I haven't seen it as well. I heard it was bad though. Yeah, apparently it's very bad. But Robert is Robert Pattinson supposed to be Batman? I don't think he can go back to being Vampire Boy. Robert Pattinson is supposed to be Batman, and also the thing about Robert Pattinson, he's an incredibly talented actor. True. He's, he's an really good incredibly actor. talented actor. They and just wrote like, his role so yeah. they did him so dirty. So Kristen dirty. Stewart is a good actress. Like they had talented people in Twilight. They just did them so dirty. But also the baseball yeah. scene is iconic, unironically. Yeah, they should remake the movie and just keep in the exact same baseball scene. <laughs> they, they had an insane cast for it just to like kind of fall flat. Yeah. I feel like sometimes people forget Anna Kendrick is in that movie. Anna Kendrick is in that movie. <laughs> Yeah, Taylor Lautner was so good, he could play Shark Boy. There's nobody else that could take away from him. 
no, Robert no, Pattinson was so good in The Lighthouse. He was. Like, that's yeah. the thing. He's a talented actor. He just, they just did him dirty. Yeah. Like, Twilight is bad because of the writers. It's not because of the actors or anyone else because of the writers. I want to see a remake of the Twilight films and do them justice. I demand justice for the characters. Oh, it's 8.59. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll finish this game and then... What's 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 next up? Uh, next up is oh the uh the demo game. Oh, what's it called? Paranoia. Oh, Pav. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Pavonia. Pavonia. Yeah, it's the student created game. They're doing their test. Oh, and uh, it's with the devs, right? I saw that on that. the yeah. Student created game, a hey. For anyone in chat who's new or has been here this whole time, remember this is a charity stream. If you can donate any money for the great cause that we're supporting, that would be very much appreciated. Any follows, any gifted subs or subs at all would be super appreciated. Um, this is the Twitch channel for the Ithaca College Esports Club. You can see that sweet purple check mark there. I think that's really cool that I am streaming on a partner channel right now. It's going to be a while until I can do this on my own channel. So definitely hit that follow button if you want to see more from the Ithaca College Esports Club. And you can follow me at my personal Twitch. Uh, it's up there in the corner uh, for more Minesweeper and other stuff that I play. Thank you so, so much, Chloe, for doing this for us. Thank you for coming Yeah, sure. On. Should I end stream? Oh, oh, Skillet, thank you for following. Should I end stream now or should I keep going until they're ready? I, I would wait. Mary, what do? Mary, I can keep playing literally forever, so... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Chloe could just play this for hours. I can literally just keep playing, so literally just let me know when you're ready, and I can just stop. <laughs> yeah, true. He's ready whenever. Okay, so I... I'll be ready whenever. I, we love you, Chloe. Oh, I love you, too. You can end? Okay, gotcha. I can end? Sadly, oh, true. Oh, sadly. <laughs> uh, all right. I'll do... I, I just did my little outro spiel. Follow the channel if you want to see more... Mm -hmm. Uh, I see esports stuff. Definitely stick around for the rest of the charity stream. And you can follow my personal channel, twitch.tv slash DJ from NJ for more Minesweeper stuff if you want. Mm -hmm. um, thank you all so much for watching. I'll, I'll be sticking around in chat. I'm going to stay yeah. here. So here. if y'all are here for me, you don't got to leave. I am, I am staying. Mm -hmm. I'll be here for a bit. And then after the playtest, I'll be doing Risk of Rain 2 with Ethan, I think is the last thing that we're doing today. Now we're I'm very excited. To like 1am. So that'll be fun. All right. I am going to hit the end stream button. Thank you so much for having me. I see esports. Anytime. Um, and chat, I'll see you in literally a second. Bye. Bye.